comic relief cakes, I'm going to be making some traditional fairy cakes. You will need 100 grams of butter, 100 grams of sugar, two eggs, a teaspoon of baking powder, and 100 grams of flour. Preheat your oven to 190 degrees. Mix together the butter and the sugar. Add the two eggs. So add the flour and some of the flour into the bowl and then carefully fold into the mixture allowing for lots of air to be put into the cake. And then add the second half of the flour. into the cake cases. So now you need to put your cake mixture in the cases into the oven for 20 minutes. golden brown take them out of the oven and stab a skewer like thing into each one if they come out clean then your cakes are cooked if they come out with some mixture on then your cakes are not cooked and you need to leave them in the oven for a little bit longer this can take around 20 minutes sometimes they take less time sometimes they take more time so once you've taken your cakes out of the oven you need to take them out of the baking tray and put them onto a plate or a cooling rack if you're posh enough to own a cooling rack I'm not so once your cakes have cooled, you now need to make the butter icing. And for that, you will need 280 grams of icing sugar and 140 grams of room temperature butter. Now mix the two together. Let's do whatever it takes to make the world a happy so once you've mixed together your butter and your icing sugar, you want to start actually icing your cakes. Now if you're fancy, you'll have piping bags with piping nozzles. If you're me, you'll have a teaspoon. So here you have my fairy cakes. There was just enough icing on the top. Oh, it was really, really nice. I think I was a little disappointed in the appearance of the cake. I think a little bit more time could have been spent on the icing. It's got a lovely base. I feel like I could sleep on it if it was a bed made out of cake. Simple, so I'll give it 6 out of 10. The sponge is a little bit crispy and dry, so I think that might have been a little bit overcooked. But uh, other than that, I'd give it a mark of about 8 out of 10.